sword should be at this angle. And you've blocked him out. See how he can't get to you? Good. All right. What does the sword do next? The sword now is going to come back feet together, Jodan position, looking for a new place to attack. When he does that, he steps back, come in, drop that in, and feet come together. And I want you to take that and put that down here and see how you can knock his hips right out from under him. Feet together this way. All right. Come in a little closer with your feet. There you go. Now, in this position, you're kind of, if you're leaning at an angle, get your feet underneath you. There you go. All right. Everybody's hand is turned on the back so your cup, your hand is, o your left hand is over the top of your head with the, with the thumb around. So, so you've cupped the end of the stick. Oh, I this lets you go both directions. Yeah? Okay, everybody looks good. Now, we're going to test your position a little bit. So I want the swordsman, without moving, to just try to find a place where you can cut this person. And you'll notice that your arms are blocking you from doing it. So it's very important in Jodo that you learn to trust your kamai, your positions. That there are certain times where you just have to take it for granted that this guy's not going to cut you. Now, you see this how your shoulder is out? Yeah, get get here so you're under it. If your shoulder and elbows are sideways, he can probably chop them off. He can do a little quick slice cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So see how you get the shoulder in? If you turn this way, you're in trouble. Here, oddly enough, he can't get to you at all. Okay, so now we have established this position, same one we did in, in uh, Kasa no Shita. So the next thing that's going to happen is the swordsman realizes that his range, the problem is he's too close. Swordsman is going to take a step back on his left foot back and cut to the back of the neck. Uh huh. And the Joe is going to do just very simply pivot square and hante right down the center line with a step back with your right foot. Not both feet, just one. Yeah, you like that distance. If you step back too far, you let him go. All right, so let's see where people are. You should have the stick pointed at his eyes. And, uh, okay, this is a different posture. This, what you're doing is a Yagi style that Ushiba liked. Um, you want to have your heel over here on the other side and turn your foot forward so that your hips are engaged into this action. Hands on top a little bit like that. And elbows a little bit further. Just a, like this. You know on Ben Blar? This space. This is very much like an Aikido position, you know, except that you got a stick in there. Hi. Looks good. Everybody looks good. Everybody looks good. Okay. Now we're going to do that weird put away. Um, you're, you're high. His eyes are there. So that should make you a little nervous. Is it so that when I see his eye, the tip of my stick goes through it? Or if I were to have a laser pointer built in, it'd go into his eye? There. A little bit more. If you hold this down close to your body, mm -hmm. I just gave up about six inches of space. Yeah, and you, no, I want to put this right there. Okay, so if I were to continue. If you were to uh, project from your center through that stick on a line, that's where it would go. Okay, Hi, okay. so sword is now going to, uh, you're going to step back to Haso Kamai, this way. Relax your elbows to your body. Relax them, don't crunch them. Just relax your shoulders and elbows. And this is a position where you are ready and waiting to attack. Okay? Yeah, yeah. With your hands in cutting position. Hi. So, on the Joe side, draw straight back. Don't come off his eyes. Keep that pointed right into his eyes. Now you drop the hand to the left thigh. Now this is a dangerous place right here. And uh, we're going to have to be nice and slow. 
The sword is going to take a forward step on their right foot and cut for the head. The Joe is going to back up feet together and bring the stick to the left side of the temple. Yeah. Cool. Here. Yeah, this way. So if he's this close, it'll do that. Um, your distance was probably a, a strange for some reason because here you should be just outside of the range of that stick. So the sword is now pointed at his eyes. Soup. And we're in this position. Good, good. This position for the stick, raise that up as high as you can and then step back, dropping through the sword and strike that sword away. So this will go, yeah, here, just up. So you have this point at my eyes. That way. So don't lose your posture, just let the sword go out. Hey, right, so we're here, boom, you're pointing at his eyes, sword is back. Remember that the sword, yeah, let go with that hand. Okay. Remember that the sword here is a danger. So the swordsman very slowly brings the tip of the sword forward and takes grip of it with both hands and then lowers the tip slightly. Yeah. When he lowers that tip, you're going, okay, now we can do it. Draw back. We're going to complete the movement we just started. We're going to go to the thigh, turn the bottom hand over, turn the top hand over, step forward bringing the tip of the stick towards their face, stop right in front of your hip. The swordsman steps back feet together. Hold him with the, your intent. Swordsman steps back left, right, left, and then we're done. Okay, so that's Ichi Day. That's cut. That was slow. We're going to do it a little bit faster this time, okay? All right. Ichi Day. Yoi.